this is tutorial three on visuals. So in this one, I'm gonna be teaching you with textures, not with Surface UIs, how to turn your visuals from looking like this to looking something a little bit more like this, where it's all one big screen. The first thing we're gonna do is select all of our screens. Put in, copy them, and select. I'm gonna right click the lights folder, paste options, paste into it original location. Then we're gonna go to model and just try and move them forward. And for this you're gonna need in beta features in studio, dragger quality of life improvements. But you should have had that on anyways. So you can drag it out and there you can type. So my screens are 0.1 studs thick, so I'm gonna type 0 0.15 to give them some room. Now all of these make them transparent. And then I'm actually gonna get rid of the textures and details just in the lights. Okay. So now we have all these lights. Then select this one, add a surface light. Make it so it faces, just find whatever face makes it face like this, straight in. And I'm going to set our angle to zero, brightness to 0.5, our range to 1. Or you can set it to 0.5, but I found 1 works better. I might actually move all these back just a little bit more. And also to turn cast shadow off on all your screens and lights. So have our surface light, so we're going to copy it with control C, select all of these, and then do control shift V. And then I'm just going to delete the duplicate. And it may seem like they're not working, and that's because I'm not using future lighting. So go to lighting, properties, change the technology to future. Boom. All these screens got brighter, so we can tell that they're working. Let's change all the brightnesses to 0.5. And that's our light setup done. Now time to do the adorning. First thing I'm going to do make a part, make it tiny, and then go in the model tab, there's the align tool. So select that and copy these settings. Active object, that, align mode, align world, x, y, and z. Then we're going to click control, hold control, and click that, or like whatever the center of your screens is. Which could be it could be a screen, it could not be a screen. And then we're gonna click align. Then we're gonna resize this part. And a trick is that if you resize it while holding control, it'll resize in both directions at the same time. We're gonna resize it to be the size that we want all our visuals to stretch across. And make sure there's nothing hanging 
no screens that go outside of it or else it won't work. Like if I did this, then it wouldn't work for these screens that are outside of it. So I think this is probably a good size. Then anchor this and name it something like anchor park. And then I like to put it in a group because if you're in a game with a bunch of stuff, then that just makes life easier. So then, set, go to, it right here, just change this to 0 0.01. And then duplicate the anchor port part with control D. Change it, just move it all the way till it says 0. And then hold control and make it as small as you can do. We're going to do this in every side on every side until it says zero hold control and do it till it says zero so once you've done it for every side we're going to delete our main one now we're going to have these three parts on each side of the square and we're going to union these call it anchor part and let's drag it into our screens folder now let's actually save the fade decal and texture because all these can get deleted so then for every single screen that you have just do control D select screen union make sure you select the anchor part first or else it won't work And then, if you think I'm going to have more screens, then I wouldn't delete the anchor part, but I'm just going to. Then, take this, select both of them with control, then copy with control C. Select all of them, click shift at the bottom to select all between the two, and then do control shift V. Now, it looks like we got the wrong face, but while we have all of them selected, just go until it's the right face. So I think this is going to be not front, so it's back. And you can see everything got a lot darker once I selected the back face. So now with all the textures, just make sure they're set at s the color 3 is set at 600, 600, 600. And then, we're done. You can just click play here. Let's use the visual from the last tutorial. And boom, now it's spreading across one big screen. And since we didn't union all of them, they all just unioned them to that anchor part, effects still work as normal. Thank you for watching. Bye Visuals V2. Let me know what if you need any other tutorials.